Hey guys, it's Christopher. Welcome to this new Solaris tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to allow the player to swim in deep water. So I made this very simple map. And so by default, the player cannot swim. So if you try, you will just drown and lose some life. Same thing if you try from here. Um, and uh, so we will make the flippers item. Flippers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as always, when you make when you make a new item, you have to check that the animation, the corresponding animation, exists in the entities slash items sprite. So. If you have the a link to the past resource pack, you have the flippers sprite. But and uh, you also have to make um, the dialogue that will be displayed when obtaining the flippers. So underscore treasure dot the name of the item dot the variant. So there will be only one variant for flippers. And the dialogue will probably say, you found the flippers. You can now swim in deep water. OK. So it means that oh. if we make a treasure chest here with oh. the flippers, and we'll probably save it somewhere, the flippers chest. Um oops. <coughs> yes, but I thought everything was already saved. So right now I drown. You found the flippers week. You can now swim in deep water. So this is a dialogue I just uh, wrote. And of course <laughs> it still does not work because I haven't programmed anything in the flipper script. Okay, so it will be a bit similar to the sword actually, because um, in the documentation um, there are some in the engine some built-in abilities that you can give to the player. For example, lift objects, and swimming is one of them. So oh. the whole so swimming uh, um, movement, uh, the whole sw swimming feature is already provided by the by the engine. You just have to give the ability swim to the player. So we'll call game set ability swim and um, zero to remove the ability or one to give the ability. So, um, like the sword, it will be an item whose position state is saved. So, item set save game variable, and you store this information is some variable. Let's call this position underscore flippers. This one we don't <coughs> need because um, flippers are not an item that you can use by pressing a key, like bombs or um, or the bow or I don't know. Unpickable created. We don't need this either. But like the sword, we will need on variant changed. Oh. <laughs> Game. So because we already have. Uh, the game here. Set ability swim and it will actually be the, the variant variable here, the variant value zero or one. And I should update the comment the position state of the flippers determines the built in ability swim.
Okay, nice. And this time it works. So when you are in deep water, um, you can swim faster with the action key. That's why the, the HUD shows a swim icon here. So it's very close to the swim feature of A Link to the Past. And one more detail about drowning, and actually the, this video will be finished. <laughs> it's very very simple to implement the swim, the swimming ability since it's, it's already provided by the engine. Um, when you drown, you just drown immediately and you are you you go back to where you to solid ground actually. But um, you could also, it's also possible to make the hero jump automatically because it was the case in A Link to the Past. So if you want that, you can give the ability jump over water, <coughs> which allows to automatically jump when arriving into water when you don't have the swim ability. So it will only change something when the the hero cannot swim. So for example, initial game, let's give the jump over water ability and see the difference. Okay, and this time I jump. So in my games, Zelda Mr. of Solaris DX and XD the hero does jump like this when he cannot swim. So it's your choice. By default, he does not jump. And of course, when you are when you enter the, the water from here, from already a jump, it doesn't change anything. But here you jump. Okay. So okay, um, now you know how to make to allow your hero to swim. Maybe you already figured it out because it was <laughs> quite easy to do. But um, okay, so that's all for this episode, and see you next time. Take care. Bye.